Hey guys, what if I told you you could go to your Target today, find Iconic Masters for $5 or boost the pack? Sounds kind of ridiculous, but Target is having a sale, and some Targets have mispriced the what these cost. So when you go out and buy them, you can buy them for $5 a pack. Now, it is surprising they are in Target and they are in Walmart. I have confirmed this. They are in Houston, and I've seen them. Now, I haven't seen the epic sales that some people on Reddit are saying is happening, but on Target, there's a 25% discount on toys, which include Magic the Gathering. So if you don't want to buy a whole box or you want to get a box relatively cheap, there's ways to do it. Uh, $5 a pack is below. $5 a pack is around, I think, $120 a box which is below the distribution price of $140, meaning you are buying under what a store would pay for it. So a store cannot sell these for $120, but Target can. Maybe it's a mistake, maybe it is a fluke, but I will show you proof and evidence that you can buy it for $5 if you are lucky. So every Target has 25% 25% off. Some Targets have this mispriced at $22. And it's been confirmed multiple times. People suggesting that you should buy from your game store because you should support your game store. That is a fine analysis, but most people, if they can buy cheaper from Target, will buy from Target since everyone has a Target. And it's easier, it's more convenient, returns are better. Uh, the quality of the location is probably better as well as the store itself. So if you want Iconic Masters really cheaply, uh, go to Target. I have confirmed that Target has the 25% off discount, which will allow you to, whatever the price is, here there is a interesting thing where apparently some Targets are charging the blister packs for $20.99, and it's $20.99. On top of that, you get 25% off. So you get free packs for $15, $5 a pack, and six of them are half a or 18 packs comes out to be a hundred and two dollars. Eight of these blister packs would be a full booster box and it would co cost less than a hundred and forty dollars, way under MSRP of 240. If Wizard of the Coast continues to do this, local game stores will all go out of business. Not, not a single local game store can survive. If this is the current price point that Target and Walmart are allowed to sell at, the fact that Target and Walmart are allowed to sell these products is insane to begin with. And now we see what the true model is. And the true model is the casual players. Of course, the casual players spend more money. They don't need a local game store to go to. And it's absolutely okay for them to buy cards from Target and Walmart because they don't care about the local game store because it doesn't affect them at all. So why subsidize your local game store that you don't go to? Most casual players are kitchen table. They play with their friends, maybe their family, and they don't go to a Friday Night Magic. They don't go to a GP. For them, magic is just a hobby, and I think that's the way that we will see in the future. So this is the second confirmation that yes, that some targets have mispriced. The target I went to today did not misprice, so you get 25% off. It's like an okay deal. Uh, it's okay. It's not as good as you can, you can buy boxes right now for $160 shipped to you online uh, all day long, as many as you want. So I don't know if you get the if it goes to $20.99 and you're really lucky that your target has that is offering that price, I think it's a mistaken price, then yes, you are gonna get a fantastic deal under $120. That's amazing because distributors are charging $140 for local game stores. A local game store is not gonna be able to compete at all. So at the end of the day, a uh, very, very interesting turn of events, a very interesting philosophy which is of the coast is employing. And I think that they will do this in the future. I can see from the vote in this, I, I can see where they want to take everything away from a local game store. The FNM promos are gone and they just want to sell on Target, Walmart. Eventually, Target and Walmart, Barnes and Nobles, this major 
uh, supermarket, they will force Wizard of Coast to do this. And I'm surprised it took this long, to be quite honest, because the writing is on the wall. Um, it is something where you I can't explain it, but I knew it was always coming. And this is the beginning of this is the beginning of something very different that we're going to see. We will see massive discounts. We will see product limited product available everywhere. We will see just the push. We will see Wizard of the Coast push more on social media to promote Walmart and Target over a local game store. I've seen that across YouTube. I've seen that when, as soon as someone gets a sponsor, they don't care about their local game store anymore because by promoting local game stores, they hurt their sponsor. Right? And they hurt their bottom line. They hurt their own personal revenue. So people are surprised that Iconic Masters is in Target. Uh, people are surprised that Iconic Masters is so cheap and always on sale. If this supply does not sell well, Wizards of the Coast will get hit pretty hard because Walmart is going to say, hey, I didn't sell well. So they need to give discounts, they need to give incentives, they need to push, 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 because if they do, if Iconic Masters does not sell well, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, wherever it's selling at, they're not going to reorder. And if they don't reorder, they lose money. Uh, they lose money, right? Walmart is the expensive place. You pay Walmart to be there, pretty much. So anyway, $5 packs all day long. If you're lucky enough at Target, I would just buy out all of them because I don't see how people are saying that you can't lose money at 140, right? That's the Rudy bottom line. You can get these at 120 if you're lucky, under 120 with tax. Five bucks a pack. Wow. I mean, that's uh, whew. maybe, I don't know. Maybe there's other coupons you can use, but assuming that they mispriced at 29.99, which has happened on multiple targets and they stacked the 25% discount. I'm sure that the Target credit card has another like 5% discount, something like that. If you open a Target credit card, you could literally go ham and buy these for like maybe 110 a box. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.